I have a new instrument and I'm gonna learn how to play it today. I was gonna do a full day, but turns out we're going on a trip today, me and my wife. And so I only have till two o'clock today. And right now it is 11.20. So I have like, 11, 12, I have like three hours to learn this instrument. And so without further ado, today we're learning Now, you might be thinking, Isaac, why a clarinet? Clarinet, there's nothing special in an orchestra, just kind of sitting back there with the flutes and the oboes. And to that I say, no. Clarinets have a really cool tonality and they're not all used in an orchestra. Jazz clarinet is huge and I think it sounds amazing. So my challenge for myself today is, I only have two hours or so, and I want to learn a very specific riff or lick or whatever you want to call it from one of my favorite songs ever, Englishman in New York. Now I know what you're saying. Isaac, that was a soprano saxophone part. And to that I say, yes, yes it was. But I think the clarinet and the soprano saxophone have a couple of similar kind of tonalities. I'm sure a lot of people would tell me I'm wrong, but I think they're in the same tone, tonal range of instruments. I think the clarinet will work for me as an instrument better than a soprano saxophone. Um, and that is because of this. So my challenge today is I want to learn the first phrase of Branford Morales' solo in Englishman in New York. I don't even know how to put this thing together, so I'm going to have to do a lot of Googling to figure this out. No. Um, the big one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's hard to put together. This one? I assume these holes are supposed to be lined up like that. Oh my gosh. Oh! Wow. All right. Ooh. So we've got the clarinet put together. Um, we obviously need to learn the fingerings first because this is just... This is fairly foreign to me. I have some experience with a flute, but it's definitely different than a flute. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to learn some uh, fingering positions. Um, and so we have to make sure that we are consistent and um, precise, okay? 45 degree angle. Whoa! I interrupt this program with a message from our Udu. He says that not enough people are subscribed. You don't want to disappoint my Udu with you. If you want to make our Udu happy, would you please consider subscribing to our channel? Thank you. <laughs> Englishman in New York is in uh, B minor, so. I'm gonna go ahead and learn, try and learn the key of B minor on the clarinet. And I think that'll help me kind of figure out the parts. Um, so let's get to it. I'm gonna show you exactly how to play the B minor scale. <laughs> this. The next. Okay, here we go. And it sounds like this. That's B flat. Oh, isn't this all transposed? Shoot, this is a B flat instrument. Oh, this is gonna be so weird. Uh, here we go, and it sounds like this. The next note is C sharp. It's a whole step down. So I have to learn. I have to learn D flat minor on clarinet to play B minor. The C sharp minor scale. Start on the first note, the first note is C sharp. And it is finger. Hey! Am I doing 
something wrong? Up a half step. Wait. He's not doing what I'm doing. C sharp or D flat should be that. It's not. It's what it's saying D is. Am I going crazy? That's that's the note I need. You know what? I'm gonna figure this out myself. Oh, if I just wanted to play a B then I would need to look up the fingerings for D. Right? Okay. That's the first four notes. YouTube didn't help me. I did it. Or is it telling me the concert pitch? Guys, clarinet is so weird. Why are there transposed instruments? There doesn't need to be transposed instruments. Okay, we're getting somewhere. How do we go up higher? My question is, should I learn it in the transposed thing, which I will literally never use. I, I don't think I'd ever think of using clarinet. And I don't play other people's music, really. I just kind of make my own. So would learning the clarinet in like the concert scales be better than learning it into the transposed scale? I think I want to try and learn it in the concert pitch because I just, this is, this is insane. All right, let's continue on just learning it the way I'm doing it, which is how I always learn instruments anyway. How do you go higher? Wait, but I'm learning it all. I'm learning them an octave down. What would the higher octaves be? My literal goal now is just to learn what the high F sharp is so that I can learn the first note of Englishman in New York. Oh my gosh. If I put my lips higher up on the reed, it goes higher? I don't think that's correct. Are you supposed to do that? <laughs> Duh. How to play high notes on clarinet. We have to switch over to our upper register thing position and our finger position on our clarinet. Step two, we're going to use the tip. The so it's a fit. Pause this lesson and get... Try, that's awesome, but for a lot of people, it's so hard. And make sure that you're on the I don't think I'm gonna be playing Englishman in New York today. I should have guessed that you know I wouldn't be able to learn one of the greatest jazz licks in history the first day I picked up a clarinet. <laughs> I did learn a lot though, kind of gotten the transpositions down, I've got the fingerings. I can play the lowest note on a clarinet. So that's pretty cool. I learned B minor somewhat up till I think the highest note that I can play without going to this like weird uh, register key. And then things just get really confusing after that. It's something. Clarinet is hard, but I tell you this. I will learn Englishmen in New York. It will be amazing. It will be on this clarinet, and it will be me playing it. Just not today, because I have to go pick up my wife and we're going on a trip. So, bye for now.